Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you Vedic Maths and in Vedic Maths I'm going to teach you multiplication of numbers by 101. So let's see how you can do this. So for this I'm going to share my screen with you. Multiply by one zero one. See, this is one of the easiest tricks that you will ever learn. Here you have to multiply the digits by one zero one. Case one. Your first case is if you are multiplying one zero one by a two digit number, then you you will find out the answer very simple. What you have to do here, you have to simply write down that number twice. Now see, for example, 73, this is a two digit number. Again, next example, see 83, this is again a two digit number. Again, next example, see 74, this is again a two digit number. Next example, see 99, this is again a two digit number. In all these examples are simply two digit number and learn, remember, that if you are simply multiplying any two digit number by 101, what you have to do simply you have to write down the number twice. For example, question number one, 73. Write down 73, again write down 73. Next example, 83. Write down 83, again write down 83. Next example, 74. Write down 74, again write down 74. Next example, 99. Write down 99, again write down 99. So this is simply your answer. Now you have to do these questions. See, look at the screen. All these numbers are two digit numbers which you have to multiply by 101. 37 is a two digit number, 67 is a two digit number, 26 is a two digit number, 34 is a two digit number, 98 is a two digit number, 84 is a two digit number, 91 is a two digit number, 94 is a two digit number, 86. Now you can write down the answer yourself. Simply you will write down all these numbers twice in front of these questions and you will get the answers. Try it on your and you can check this with the help of calculator also. <clears throat> now you see this question. This is different. Here what you have to do is, here you have three digits. Now you have to multiply three digits with 101. So I'm just going to tell you how. Now you see, my question is 101 multiplied by a three digit number 345. See, this is a three digit number. So here, what, will, what you have to do is, you look at this 345. What is the first number here? You can easily say this three is the first digit. Number. So I have written here, you look at this line, read this line, and you have to learn this line. Learn it. You have to add the first digit to the entire number. I have written the line for you. You have to learn it. And then what is the entire number here? This 345. So if you will add 3 with 345, you will get 348. Now you, it is changed. How it is changed? Now you see in this, this 348, now these are the first three numbers. Okay. Then how you will find out the answers? To find out the answers, what you will do with this 348? You have to now look at, this is copy. Okay. Copy the last two digits of the numbers. And, and in bracket, I have written 45. What are the last two digit numbers? Last two digit numbers are written in the question. Where you will find out the last two digit number? 
I have written in the bracket. See, this is forty-five. Where you are able to forty find out forty-five here. Here you these and these are last two digits numbers also. So you read this. Start reading from here and learn it. Copy the last two digits of your number. Which number? Forty-five. To the end, and then you will be able to find out the answer. So you see, answer if you will multiply one zero one with three hundred and forty five. So first, uh, you will write down this three forty eight. Why you will write down this three hundred and forty eight? Because you see, you have done the addition here, and you have got this three forty eight. So you will write down here this three hundred and forty eight. And copy the last two digits. I have written also. You learn it. Last two digits is in the question itself. Where are the last two digits? Last two digits is in the question here. In the in this question here itself, which I am showing you with the uh, cursor. Okay, so you just copy this. So next time I'm going to show you. now you look at this example so i'm just going to explain you how you have to do this see when you are again as i have told you in this example also i am telling you when you are multiplying a three digit number by 101 in this example also i have explained first we want to add the three digits to the number okay so first we want to add the first digit so first you have to add the first digit what is the first digit you look here this is important in my previous example also i have told you can you learn this line in this also you learn this we want to add the first digit first digit is important first digit to the number question is this yet you have to multiply 101 by 234 so you see in 234 what is the first digit you see this first digit this is very important okay you underline this okay first digit is very important what is first digit in 234 this 2 is first digit okay so you know what is the entire number 234 is the entire number here so you have to add 2 plus 234 which is equals to 236 Now two. Now the number is changed. Okay. Now two hundred and thirty-six is the first three digits. Okay. Now these are the first three digits of the answer. Now what you have to do, as I have told you, this has to, you have to follow by last two digit. Like in my previous example, I have told you, you have to copy last two digits now. So to the original number. So you see, original number here is. Uh, two hundred and thirty-four. So you have to copy the last two digits number uh, of the original number. New number is two hundred and thirty-six. So I have written this new number because this is new. Now you have to copy last two digits of the this k. This original number and what is your original number? Original number is two hundred and thirty-four. So from here, what are the last two digits? Thirty-four. Okay, thirty-four are the last two digits. So you just copy this thirty-four with this. Now, next time, going to share with you another example. now you look here carefully this is a different case which i am going to discuss with you why uh, this is important and what is the difference between this case and the earlier cases this is the very important case of borrower okay 
this is the boro over sums in the previous questions you have not done boro over those were the simple cases this is another case case of boro over sums now you look here what is the difference again 101 is same three digits are also same see how you have to do the boro over first add the first digit to the entire number in your previous questions also you have done the same so what is the number 896 is the number so when you will add 8 so this is the case of boro over like, like how is this boro over 8 plus 6 is 14 so you will write down 4 here and boro 1 then 1 plus 9 is 0 so you write down 0 here then carry over then 8 plus Uh, one is nine, so like this, you have got this nine hundred and four. I am specially discussing with you. This is the case of bore over, though it is very simple. You can do it very easily, I know. But if small children are doing these questions, so they may find it difficult. So for them, I am explaining it again. So you, uh, what you see, what you have got now, you have got this nine hundred and four. So nine hundred and four. As you have, what you have done in the previous examples, you have then copied the last two digits of the number. What are the last two digits of the number? Go to the original number. Original number is eight hundred and ninety six, na. And in eight hundred and ninety six, this ninety six are your last two digits. So from th with this nine hundred and four, I have written in the answer. I have just copied this ninety six. and you can check all the work with the help of calculator please check all this with the help of calculator now i am going to give you this homework so what is the homework that you, this is your practice sheet and you have to do this homework on its own and thanks for watching my video and if you like my video please share subscribe my channel and share this video in groups as many groups you see you share my video in the groups thanks for watching my video thank you